Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome back to your English class, everyone. It's a pleasure to see you. So let's check what do we have for today's class. Let me just check something over here. I'm going to change this. Okay. Let's see, today we are going to be working with class 15, all right? So you are officially in the last week because tomorrow we are going to finish the whole um, the whole course, all right? So that's good. Now let's check, what do we have for today's class? We are going to start with a conversation as a warming up, right? Last class, just some of you passed in the conversation. La clase pasada, Solo vieron como dos parejas, creo, right? Que pudieron pasar en la conversation. Así que ahora, let's see. What do we have? I can't sing. Yo espero que ustedes ya hayan trabajado esta parte. Hayan escuchado una y otra y otra vez el audio con la conversation. However, I'm gonna... I'm going to have the conversation with you again. I'm going to have the conversation with you guys again for you to practice once again. Voy a volver a hacer la conversación para ustedes para que puedan practicar por si no recuerdan la pronunciation. So we have Caleb and Philip. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. So let me ask. Voy a ir preguntando a cada uno para que pasen. Si usted ya pasó el día martes que tuvimos esta conversation, usted ya no va a pasar ahora, right? But if you didn't pass on Tuesday, you are going to pass today, right? Si usted pasó el martes, no va a pasar. Pero si ya, pero si no pasó, pues lo va a hacer ahora. All right. Now let's check. Let me ask. Um, let me see. Yolanda, did you pass on Tuesday? Pasó el martes? No. Okay. You're going to be Kayla. Usted va a ser Kayla. And let me ask. Um, Julio, ¿usted pasó el martes? No. Okay. You're Philip. Action. Kayla, oh, look, there are a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't see it at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe you can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, <laughs> let's practice tomorrow. Very good, excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Good rhythm and pronunciation, right? Buen ritmo y pronunciación. Solo le vamos a decir a Yolanda que... Recuerde que la primer, esta palabrita que tenemos aquí tiene una S, por ende se pronuncia there's. There's. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente, que sería um, Jennifer. Yo la veo que está conectada, pero también sé, creo que va manejando, right? Así que... No, dice, tengo una emergencia. Estoy en el hospital aquí. Me quedo en el parqueo. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah. don't worry. Entonces, entonces no puede practicar Jennifer. Ok, don't worry. Let's go with Jessica. Uh, did you pass on Tuesday, Jessica? Pasó el martes, Jessica? No, teacher. Okay, so you are okay. No, Moises, I think you passed on Tuesday, right? Uh, I remember, but I think no, 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 All right, so you're Philip, action. Oh, look, there's a talent contest, contest. on Saturday, let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? 
you can sing really well. Oh, thanks. What well, do you can do? Oh, no. I can't sing a lot at all, but I, I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest? Sure. We not. Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. You were working very well, you guys, because there was a lot of noise in the background, but I was able to listen to everything, right? So let's go with Josue Granados. You are Philip. Um, I think, I believe that Yvette passed on Tuesday, right, Yvette? Or didn't you? No, teacher. No pasó, okay. Entonces, you are Kayla, action. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent concert. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thank. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can sing. I, I can sing at all, all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the concert. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Great, excellent, thank you. That was good. Um, now let's check. I feel I felt that your pronunciation was good and also the rhythm, all right? So that means that you have been practicing. That's great. Let's go with the next one. Or I think I'm not missing anybody else, right? Creo que ya no me hace falta nadie de los que están aquí to pause on the conversation. So let's check. Let's move on. Bye. Eso era el warming up, everyone. Pero como es esencial que el tiempo nos alcance para hacer el exam, vamos a iniciar con el exam, con el final exam, right? Claro, está, lo vamos a hacer, pero este. Vamos a seguir con los exercises de la platform después. Okay? So let's go to it. Vaya, esto es para que lo tengan como referencia, porque todavía no hemos terminado la plataforma completamente. Si usted ya lo hizo, ¿cuántos de aquí ya lo hicieron el final exam? I finished. I didn't listen. Ya lo completé. I finished, teacher. Right, very good. Ah, pues sí. Hay como un cuarto ya. Ya terminamos hasta las dos de la tarde ahora. ¿Cómo, Omar? Es que hoy, bueno, a mí me llamaron diciendo que yo tenía hasta las dos de la tarde para poder completar oh, el examen final. Ok, that's good. Bueno, excelente, Omar. Thank you. Quizás se les... Bueno, no sé por qué se las habrán pedido para hasta ahora, pero todavía tienen mañana. I think so. Quizás es por los que siempre eh, quedan rezagados, ¿no? Que lo hacen hasta el último momento. Ok, so we have the listening. As per usual, the listening is going to be for you. Como es usual, ustedes ya saben que yo el listening siempre se los dejo a ustedes porque es la única parte donde practica el listening. Eso no lo vamos a hacer. Pero si nos vamos a ir a la parte de grammar. B, complete the conversation. So we have the instructions. Omar, me lee las instructions, please. Ok. Instructions. Complete the conversation with some or any. Excellent. Thank you. Now. It says, Amanda, the store doesn't have any fresh salad. What do you have for number one, Omar? Uh, some. ¿Y cómo se leería completa la sentence? Well. Se le apagó el micrófono. Sí, 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 ahorita me... Well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make some. Thank you. Uh, okay, do we have Jessica Hernandez? Any or some? Perdón, teacher. Um, any. Right, thank you. No, we need to buy. Uh, let me check. Josué Granados. Any or some? Any. 
Amy. Okay, thank you. Let's see, uh, Moises, we need... Song. All right, thank you. And let's check. Yvette Aguirre. Oh, I don't want... Some. All right, let me a sentence, please. Uh, uh, oh, I don't want some lettuce. All right. I hate lettuce. Excellent. I hate lettuce. Exactly. He hates it. <laughs> Julio. Uh, then let's get. Song. Lea la entera la oración, please. Then let's get some olives. Olives. Repeat, olives. Olives. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let's go with Yolanda. No, I don't want. Hola, eh, Annie. Okay, ahora lea la entera, please. No, I don't. No, I don't want any olives in my first salad. Excellent, thank you. Y tan ricas que son las aceitunas en la ensalada. Sandra Rios, but let's put some. Read, please, but let's. But let's put some cucumber in it. All right, let's check. Amanda, cucumber sounds good. All right, let's submit. Let's check. All right, all right, what happened over here? Let's check. Let's see, vamos a ver. Um, what else do we have in here? ¿Quién más tenemos aquí? Okay, in this case, now we need to buy some, all right? You don't know how many of them, but you need some lemon, right? Recuerden que, como está diciendo, después de la coma es otra idea la que se está agregando. Por ende, no pueden decir, no, we need to buy any, right? That, that's bad, right? So we need to buy some. And then we have this other one. Oh, I don't want any. Recuerden, si tienen el negative, siempre tienen que ser any, all right? Because that's why any is for, right? Para eso es que se utiliza el any. Now, with that being said, there you go. Para los que van a hacer el examen después de la clase, aquí tienen some of the answers, all right? Well, all of the answers. So let's move forward. Choose the correct adverb of frequency. Instructions, Julio, read them, please. Instruction, read the follow sentence and choose the best one. Remember the correct position of the adverbs of frequency. Yes, exit, adverb of frequency. So it says, never I play soccer on weekends. Veamos. Jessica Hernandez, number one, it's correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Thank you. Let's go with number two. Moises, read it please, and then you tell me if it's correct or incorrect. This is it's correct. Read them, read it. Okay, what happened? Les pido que las lean, all right? Because everything sounds better if you read it. Perdón, perdón, se me había muteado. Okay. They usually use your mind to study in English in the noches. Don't translate it. No me lo traduzca. Okay. All right. Just read it in English. They usually say, 
Yes, it's correct. Yes. I remember que this, this. Sí está correcta, correct. pero le quer quería que la leyéramos. Right, that's okay. part of the exam. Uh, they usually study English at night. Very good, thank you. Number three, Josué Granados. Read the sentence, lea la oración y me dice si está correcta o incorrecta. Sometimes she feels very tired. Mm -hmm. It's correct. All right, it's correct. Very good. Number four, Yvette. Read the sentence and let me know if it's correct or incorrect. He often calls her in the morning. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Uh -huh. uh, it's incorrect. Right. Thank you. And let's check. Um, Julio, number five, please. You. You listen to me hardly ever. It's incorrect. All right, let's check. Let's submit. Very good, very good. Now, we got something extra over here. What happened with number four? Teacher, pero yo veo que often está justo después del subject. ¿Cuál es el error que tiene la oración? Let's check. ¿Quién me dice cuál es el error que tiene la oración? Well, I often, I call her often in the morning. El often sería el final. Mm -mm. Está correcto porque está después del sujeto. Ah, perdón, perdón. Perdón, es que no, no me cargué bien la pantalla. Ah, ya me cargué, me cargué. Me cargué. Well, you listen to me hardly ever. Yo estoy en la cuatro, Moises. Number four. ¿Por qué salió incorrecta? O sea, ¿por qué incorrecto es la opción correcta? Es la respuesta correcta. Ah, sí. ¿Qué tiene de incorrecto? Es often, number four. For the often. El often sería hasta el, el often sería hasta el final. Por no será por la el her o el her de decir como su. Right, uh, okay, we're getting closer. ¿Qué pasa con el verbo, everybody? Vaya, fíjense bien, ¿quién es el subject ahí? Él. ¿Y, y qué es él? ¿Es first person singular, third person singular, o what? Third person. Third third person. person. Third person. Entonces, ¿cómo debería decir el, el verb? Calls. Ah, calls. Everybody, we need to analyze it. Right? Okay. El grammatical mistake no estaba en el adverb frequency. El adverb frequency está correcto. Y si notan, okay. aquí dice la instruction. Read the following sentence. Debería decir sentences, all right? Pero dice sentence. Okay. And choose the best one. Remember the correct position of the adverbs of frequency. All right? Recuerden la posición correcta de los adverbios de frecuencia. No dice que solo se fije en el adverbio de frecuencia. Y eso es lo que sucede con esta. La trampa de esta oración es eso. Uno al leerla diría, he often called her in the morning, hasta correcta. Le voy a dar clic a correct. Pero hay un error en el verb. Debería decir, calls her. Ok. Right. Estuvo buena know? esa, ¿eh? <laughs> ¿No hice sudar un ratito? Sí. <laughs> yeah. Very good. It's tricky. Es tramposa. Now, let's go to the following. Vamos a la siguiente. Choose the current meaning of WH question words. Esto está bastante sencillo. Let's check. Instructions. Moises, do the honors, please. No lee las instrucciones. But, uh, instruction. Go over the WH question word. What do they mean? Choose the best meaning. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Let's go with number one, Omar. Who? The people. Excellent, thank you. Yolanda, two. Hola, um, place. Mm -hmm. Where? It's for place, very good. Francisco, when?
Por ahí vi a Francisco, ¿está conectado? Se vio de tiempo. Time. ¿Cómo se dice tiempo en inglés? Time, please. Time, all right, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Sandra Ríos, which... Choice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Jorge Castaneda, what? Mm. What time? Mm. Time is when. Okay. Sorry, es que acabo de venir. Yeah, all right, but you should have done this one, so don't worry. Let's go to the next one. Um. Josué Granados, when do we use what? Or what do we use for what? Ahorita, pero... ¿Ah? Ok. What? Podría Me ser things. Object. Thing or object. Very good. Excellent. Let's submit. All right. Siempre que vean que espero un poquito es porque les quiero dar tiempo para que abran el micrófono. A veces la señal no nota muy bien y puede ser que abramos el micrófono. Right? I have yes? a question. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, about wish. Wish es como de cuáles, cuáles, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero choice o choice, ¿qué, qué significa? Choice ¿Qué? es opción. Ah, opción. ¿Cómo Por se eso que cuando usted elige entre esta o la otra, ¿qué está tomando? Está tomando una decisión. Ajá, correcto. Entre opciones. Ajá. 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 Porque como preguntan cuál, como cuál va a querer o cuáles quiere, algo así. Ajá. Oye, pero, o sea, ¿cómo se pronuncia, perdón? Choice. Choice, choice. Ajá. Así yes. como se escucha, choice. Gracias. Very good, very good. Right. Now, let's check. You got these ones all correct. Tuvieron estas correctas todas, right? Very good. This is submitted. Let's go to E. Use the correct use of can or can't. Uh, we haven't finished this part from the platform, right? So it might be have been difficult for you to answer, but I hope not. So let's check. Todavía no hemos terminado esta parte de la plataforma, okay? Ya que el día de ayer no se trabajó, eso atrasa un poco más, pero Yo espero que quizás ya algunos lo hayan trabajado la parte del Ken. Ahora la vamos a ver y la vamos a desarrollar completamente. Pero sin embargo, no tienen muchos ejercicios de eso aquí. So let's go. Let's start with Moises. Number one, please. Lee toda la oración con la respuesta correcta de acuerdo a lo que usted considere. Uh, I am very hungry. I can eat everything right now. So it's Ken, very good, thank you. Yvette, number two, Achira. Achira can run very fast. Very good, excellent, Ken. Julio, number three, Maria. Maria, can you help me? Very good. Omar, number four, I. Oh, perdón, teacher. Number four, I. Number four, okay, well, I can do work. Uh, I can. I can't or I can? I can't. Very good, excellent. Ahí sí le escuché la, la T. Very good. Okay. And let's go with the last one, que sería para Jessica. Help me. Number five, please. Okay. Uh, baby can't drive a car. Very good, excellent. Let's do it. Yay, very good, everyone. Thank you. Para los que no han hecho esta parte, les recomiendo que no les pase lo que nos pasó a nosotros aquí, que no leímos la instrucción. Todas las instrucciones las habíamos leído, pero esta no. Usted tiene que leerla, right? Aquí dice de que uh, just type the word in. Solo tienen que escribir la palabra. No necesitan capital, no necesitan mayúscula y no necesitan punto al final. Número uno, no sería, poner, no sería correcto ponerle el punto porque la oración continúa. Right? Pero a veces, por no leer las instructions, nos puede pasar eso. Colocarle el, 
final point. So let's check. F, fill in the blanks and complete conversations. Yvette, read the instructions, please. Complete the conversation. Select the option that completes the two blank fields in each sentence or question. Excellent, thank you. Linda. Okay, uh, Sandra Rios, tell me what options did you choose? Do you live in an apartment? This one, Sandrita. Esta, Sandrita. Yes. Okay. Do you well, live? Thank you, Sandrita. Voy a ver algo, right? Este, <coughs> por favor, cuando les pida que participen, lean la oración con la respuesta correcta que ustedes consideren y me dicen si sería la number one, two, three, or four. De esas cuatro choices, usted me dice choice number one, choice number two, choice number three. Usted decide, right? Si solo me dice el número o ocupa la palabra choice. Pero, o oh, option, también la palabra option, right? Pero lea la oración completa con la respuesta que usted considere correcta. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Vanessa Scarlett, please. Chris. Okay. No, I don't. I live in a house. Uh, uh, the second answer. Excellent, thank you. Moises, please continue. Uh, okay. Linda, do Linda, do you sit in your uh, do have do no do has no está mal. Ah, aquí está, aquí está. Estoy teniendo problemas con el teléfono. Linda, do sit. Uh, I are uh, the number the number four. Right, excellent. Does it have a yard? Very good, thank you. Uh, Jorge Castaneda, please. Yet it yes it. Yes, it do. Mire con qué preguntamos. Ah, uh, it does. <laughs> hmm, all right, excellent. Thank you. That sounds nice, Julio. Do you live alone? The first one. Thank you. No. Let's check uh, Josue Granados. No, I. No. No, sir. Mm, okay. Oh, I doesn't. I love with my family. Okay, thank you, Josué. Eh, Jessica Hernández, no, I. ¿Cómo que no lo no, a I don't. I live with my family. Option one, two, three. Eh, choice two. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Yolanda. That sounds nice. Mm, that that sounds nice. Mm, do you have any brothers or sisters? Um, choice number three. Right, excellent, thank you. Very good, let's go, let's continue. Um, Rebeca de Benavides, yes, I. Do, do have. Yes, I do, right? Uh, option one, two, three, or four, Rebeca. Two. 
Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Recuerden leer la oración completa, please. Me duele la garganta y además ustedes tienen que practicar esa pronunciación. Ya solo tienen ahora y mañana para practicar. Eh, let's ask Sandra Ríos. Really? Perdón, teacher, no sé si me mencionó a mí. Yes. Ok. ¿Con really? Yes. Te, me está fallando un poco el internet. Don't Perdón. worry, no se preocupe, okay. porque acabo de ver en el chat a algunos lugares está lloviendo. Ok. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Okay. Options one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, let's check Yvette, please. Yes, it. Yes. Yes, it does. It does. It has four. Option three. Excellent. Thank you. Mm, are you sure? Yes. Because we have an auxiliary, an auxiliary, and when you have an auxiliary, you can't change the verb. Fíjese que yo pensé lo mismo, pero la plataforma me la rechazó de esa, de al, al hacerlo de otra forma. Yes, very good. ¿Y sabe por qué? ¿Por qué se lo rechazó? No, no sé. Tiene el punto, es otra Tiene idea. El punto, es cierto. Exactly. La primera idea, sí. la primera opción terminó aquí. Ya con esto comenzó la otra. <risa> Very good, excellent. Sí, porque es bien sencillo pensar, no es, es sería does have, all right? Pero también es tramposa esta, tiene el punto. Sí. Gracias, Titi. <risa> You're welcome. Omar, please. Ok. Do you have your own bedroom? ¿Cómo se dice? Oh, oh. Puede decir option number one, two, three, or four. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, sí, la opción two. Option okay. two. No, pero yo digo aquí donde dice teacher, donde dice own. your own. ¿Cómo? Own. Own. Sí, justamente como está ahí, como usted lo leyó, lo leyó bien. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. Yes, very good. Entonces digo que era, ya se me olvidó, option. Two. Two, okay. Do you have your own bedroom? Okay, very good. And let's check the last one. Mm, Jorge Castaneda, please. Yes. Yes. I, I don't. Yes, I do. I really look it. Option four. Excellent. Thank you. Let's submit. Yay. Very good, everybody. Excellent. That's correct. Bravo, everyone. You're pretty smart. Excellent. Now, I think that is the last part of the exam, right? Lo que está la última parte del examen. Los felicito. Tiene excelentes respuestas. De las cuatro, de las cinco partes del examen, solo nos equivocamos en una, right? En una answer. Las demás lo hicieron bien. Vuelvo a explicar lo siguiente que le comentaba a Yvette, por si usted pensaba que esta no, hay, no era esta, ¿verdad? Este más abajito. All right, esta. Por si usted pensaba que por tener el auxiliar, esta opción, tener el auxiliar y el irregular verb estaba incorrecta, y por eso usted no eligió esa o no quiere elegir esa, recuerde, aquí tiene el punto. Y con este símbolo, usted termina su oración, su primera oración. O sea, si es una respuesta o es una idea normal, ahí la termina. De aquí en adelante, tenemos otro sujeto, por ende, iniciamos otra sentence. ¿okay? Así que es válido tener el auxiliary y el irregular verb. Solo en ese caso, porque tiene el símbolo. Do you have any questions about this? ¿Tiene alguna duda o consulta de esta parte? No. 
No? Or yes? No, teacher. Okay. Awesome. Very good, everyone. Great. Now let's move on to the PowerPoint presentation. We have this. Can Fravili. I can sing very well. All right, let me just take my spotlight. Where's I got it? Puntito rojo, okay? I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. Now, let's go. Let's start with, <clears throat> vamos a iniciar con Rebeca de Benavides. Me hace la primera columna, please, de la manera en la que yo lo he leído, Rebeca. Siguiendo el subject y luego la oración. Cuando ya llegue la negativa, pues, que sería del she en adelante, usted lo cae. Action, Rebeca. Ok. I can sing very well. Sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Very good, excellent. Let's have the second column. Vamos a tener a una pareja en la segunda columna. Um, Julio, usted pregunta, Omar Chacón, usted contesta, all right? De acuerdo a cada pregunta que Julio le haga, usted va a contestar con la respuesta que tenemos aquí. All right. Can you sing? Can you sing? Can you sing? I, I, I can. Mire, yes. Yes, I can. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Mm -hmm. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Excellent, thank you, very good. Jessica Hernandez, please. The last column, la última columna, Jessica. Pregunta, respuesta. Okay, what can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. Excellent, thank you. Let's go back to the first one. Volvemos a la primera columna. Y vamos a tener a Jorge Luis Castaneda, please. Eh, solo que Jorge, usted va a hacer las tres afirmativas y Sandra Ríos va a hacer las tres negativas. Action. Okay. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can sing at all. We can sing at all. They can sing at all. Excellent. Thank you. Yvette. I think it's Yvette Aguirre, right? Yes. You ask, usted pregunta. Yolanda, usted contesta. Action. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can she sing? Yes, he can. Can we sing? No, she can. Can we sing? Mm. Dijo ah. <laughs> Um, yes. Can we sing? Perdón, ya me confundí. Eh, ¿De dónde sigo? ¿De she? 
Estamos we utilizando can't. el sujeto we. Ajá, en we. Por ende, la respuesta sería no, we can't. Ah, perdón. No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. And let's go with the last one, which it would be um, Vanessa, please. Question and answer. What can I do? What can I do? You, you can, can sing. Jesus. <laughs> Continue, <Yeah>. Vanessa. <laughs> Who can sing? Philip can. Y yo, oh, quizás está grave, Vanessa. <laughs> De la garganta. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Thank you, Scarlett. Now let's move on to the following, everybody. Let's check. Guiding a structure with can or can't. We got the subject plus can or can't plus verb plus complement. Let's listen to Julio. Read the, read the guiding. Guiding a structure, please. Subject plus can, can't plus verb plus complement. Excellent. Thank you. Omar, read the structure, please. Subject plus can, can't plus verb plus complement. Very good. And the last one, Rebecca Enriquez. Read the structure, please. Subject plus can, can't, plus verb, plus complement. There you go, excellent. Now, let's move on to the guiding examples, all right? Estoy haciendo énfasis muchísimo en esta palabra porque en otras ocasiones he escuchado que me dicen guiding y no es guiding, es guiding, guiding, all right? So let's check. Let me have Moises number one and two. Okay. And my father can sing very well. They can't dance. Excellent. Thank you. Yvette Aguirre, three and four. I can swim and dance, but I can sing. Patty can speak English, but she can speak French. Very good, excellent. So you might have noticed, pueden notar aquí, all right, que tienen opciones. You have choices, you have options, all right? You can choose, puede escoger, decir lo que usted puede hacer, la habilidad que tiene. But then you can say, you can say the ability that you don't possess, that you don't have. Y después puede agregar la habilidad que no posee o no tiene, right? O you can create the sentence vice versa. O se puede crear en una manera vice versa, right? Diferente. Puede hablar de lo que no puede, de lo que no sabe hacer. Y luego habla de lo que sí puede hacer, right? Pero no va a utilizar el bot al principio. Simplemente va a decir, por ejemplo, la number two. They can't dance. But they can cook, right? No pueden bailar, pero pueden cocinar. That's good, right? Now, let's move on to the fault. Nos movemos a la siguiente. So guiding a structure for questions with can. Esta estructura ya es para preguntas con can. So we have can plus subject. Recuerden, me, me continúan diciendo subject aquí. No es así. Subject. Subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's listen to Vanessa Scarlett, please. Después de Vanessa va Jorge Castaneda. Can, can plus subject plus verb plus complement mm -hmm. plus question mark. Excellent. Thank you. Can plus subject plus verb plus plus complement plus question mark. Excellent. And the last one, Rebecca de Benavides, please. Can plus subject 
plus verb, plus complement, plus question mark. Excellent, thank you. Listen up. Every time that you see a new structure, cada vez que usted vea una estructura, trate de analizarla quizás con estructuras anteriores que ha visto para ver cuál es la diferencia y la posición de las palabras, right? Esta estructura con el auxiliar can es idéntica a la estructura que tenemos con el auxiliar do. ¿En qué sentido? Ambas inician con el auxiliary, all right? En este caso estamos iniciando con el auxiliar can, right? So let's check the guiding examples. Veamos los ejemplos. Number one, Jessica Hernandez, please, number one. Can you perform at the party? Okay, repeat after me, perform. Perform. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Julio Aguillón, two and three. Can you jump high? Can Marcos run fast? Excellent, thank you. Can Marcos run fast? Now, notice the structure. It was pretty simple, right? La estructura se miraba bien simple. Ya poniéndolo en práctica, nos convencemos que es sencillo. Solo va a utilizar el auxiliar can, right? Al principio de su pregunta. Luego va a agregar un subject, que ustedes ya manejan muy bien lo de los subjects, y también manejan muy bien las substitutions, las sustituciones, right? Luego agregan el verb que usted necesite. Perform es el verbo de la primera. Y number two, ¿cuál sería el verb, Yvette? Jump. Y number three, what would it be the verb, Moises? Okay, run. Run, excellent, very good. The rest is complement. A lo demás le llamamos el complemento, right? So there you go. Simple as that. Así de sencillo. Let's check this. Tenemos una practice, pero la practice la vamos a hacer mañana, okay? Que tengamos más tiempo. Quiero terminar esta parte. Y si tenemos tiempo ahora, la vamos a hacer ahora. So let's see. We have abilities and talent. Right, habilidades y talentos. So let's check. Miren, yo, yo espero que mi audio no se esté atrasando, pero si sí, yo veo que mi video va algo como, como raro, como que después llega mi imagen, así que mientras no se atrase el audio, I think we're okay. Mientras no se atrase el audio, creo que estamos. No, bien. de momento no se atrasaron no, nada, va bien. Okay, okay, good. Now let's check. Thank you. Let's check. Musical or artistic. Puede ser su habilidad musical o artística. Play the violin. No es violin, no. Play the violin. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Sing English songs. Si usted siente que le cuesta, hágalo despacio. Yo les dije en las primeras clases que yo tenía a veces, que se me olvida, me salen los problemitas con la R, cuando hay muchas R's en las palabras. Entonces, Voy un poquito más despacio. Eso no le quita importancia al hecho de que se, usted puede hablar muy bien inglés. Right? Pero usted se concientiza de dónde tienen que parar más. Porque les digo esto. Porque hay gente que aquí me dice, Shing English songs. Porque quieren ir muy rápido. All right? Sing English songs. That's it. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car, fix a motorcycle, fix a motorcycle. Then we have athletic, athletic. Do gymnastics, do gymnastics. Ride a horse, ride a horse. Recuerde, esto no se pronuncia ride, ni read, no. Ride. Ride a horse, surf, surf. Other, y otras habilidades y talentos, ¿verdad? Que tal vez no tienen una categoría, pero siempre son habilidades y talentos. Bake a cake, cocinar o hornear un pastel. Play chess, 
cheeses damas. Uh, no, ajedrez, perdón, all right? No es cheese, es play chess. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Tell good jokes. Decir chiste sí es una habilidad porque a veces uno dice chiste y la gente no se ríe. All right? And you, you need to have the ability to make that. Y tienen que tener la habilidad de poder hacer buenos chistes. So let's check. I'm going to start with, vamos a iniciar con Rebeca Enriquez. Please, regáleme el vocabulary de musical or artistic. Mm. Vocabulary. Quiero decir que le diga así otros que salen ahí. No, no, el que está aquí, Rebeca. Ah. Uh -huh. Play the. ¿Cómo dijo Violet? Bio. Bio es biografía. Es, este es bio. Bio. Play the bio. 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 No sé si yo estoy escuchando mal, pero termina con lin, violin. Violin. Ajá, there you go. Excellent. Ahora sí. Sing English songs. Very good. Excellent. Bien centradita. Thank you, Rebecca. Moises, technical or mechanical? Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Yvette Aguirre, athletic. Athletic. Do gymnastics, ride a horse, surf. Excellent. Thank you. And let's have Jessica Hernandez, other. Uh, bake a cake, play chess. Tell good jokes. Excellent, thank you. Let's go back to the vocabulary. Omar Chacon, musical or artistic? Musical or artistic? Play the violin. Mm -hmm. Sing English songs. Very good. And let's check. Vanessa Castillo. Technical or mechanical? Design a web page. Mm -hmm. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Excellent, thank you. Sandra Rios, athletic. Do gymnastics ride a horse? Surf. Thank you. And Julio Guillón, other. Bake a cake, play chess, tell a good jokes. Repeat the last one. Tell a good joke. Excellent, thank you. And let's go with, with this again. Yolanda, musical or artistic? Musical or artistic. Play the violin. Mm -hmm. Sing English songs. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Jorge Castaneda. Technical or mechanical? Technical or mechanical. They sing a uh, web page, fix a car, fix a motorcycle. Excellent, thank you, All right? Design a web page. Now, and let's go with my friend, Josue Granados, please, athletic. Athletic, do gymnastics with a horse, surf. Váyase también con other, please, Josue, ya que tiene el micrófono abierto. Other, make a cake, play shit, play good jokes. Jokes, very good. Jokes. Yes. All right, everyone. So listen up. Para mañana. Ah, no. <laughs> Estos son los guiding examples. 
Let me have Yvette, example number one, Omar, example number two. I can tell good jokes, but I can bake a cake. Mm -hmm. Pablo can ride, ride a horse, but he can't source. Excellent. All right, everyone. That's pretty much it for today's class. And tomorrow we're going to finish with this reading and we're going to have a practice on the sentences. All right. Have a good night. Take care. Take Bye. care, teacher. Take care, Bye. teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye.